27 the COVID people crisis could lead to an increase in suicide More than a thousand dead in the past 48 hours. In Boston, the over 700 healthcare workers testing positive. The coronavirus has affected everything from the virus the economic downfalls are a suicide rate for the virus. The coronavirus has affected everything from schools to jobs, and now divorce lawyers say it's also affecting marriages. Siapa yang mau makan? Who wants food? Oh, udah tahu ya. Do you want bread? Toast? Uh. Sure, one. Most of the problems are in our minds, which we create ourselves. We can tackle the problem if we know where to look. Yeah, so uh, a lot of events throughout the world are being cancelled as well. And uh, my organization was planning to do um, at least like what, like three, four, five events behind closed doors, so no, no audience. Yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure how. Life as two professionals for this husband and wife. Anthony, the MMA fighter, and Emilia, the jazz singer, sharing their daily life with us. Baconnya berapa? Uh, three, please. I think it's, it's you know, whether you're you know, staying at home uh, in, in quarantine or or just doing normal everyday life, it's always good to have your own personal things that you can do. Yeah. Uh, and then you have your things that you do together with your with your spouse. You ready to eat? Already? Yeah. I do. Already. Okay, coming. Whether it's you know just eating together or doing like a game together, yeah. uh, some activities at home that like you do yeah. together, you know, you know again whether you're in quarantine or not, you should always have some things you can do separately and some things you can do together, and that would definitely uh, you know uh, help towards a uh, a long lasting relationship. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that's it. Which in his case, his his single thing to do is to play PlayStation. Oh, thank you, baby. As couples, spending a lot of time together should be normal. Isn't it ironic that being forced inside, more and more couples are actually having it tough and calling it quits. Where is the problem then? How can we avoid yeah. coffee divorce? Complain. Frustration. Bad habits. Boredom. Times are tough. Stress is high. But we need to kick the can down the road. A lot of people at this point. But yes, people in China, more and more of them have been filing for divorce. Places are getting overwhelmed with those filings. So it seems as if some people, on one hand, are finding it very difficult.
difficult to be locked in their homes with their significant other for prolonged periods of time. But there have been some people that said they re-fell in love with their partner because they were able to spend more time with them before they weren't able to really connect again on a deeper level because they were separated through work. If I'm reading news, if, if this is the, the news here, I'm watching it. I like I go above here and this is my like mind. I'm I'm reading it and really? filtering emotions. Yeah. Maybe we can learn from this whole thing. If we look at Paulina's journey, she survived the swine flu. She definitely understands how fear can cripple our daily lives. I'm also aware that I have an overload point. Like a few days ago, I it was Saturday, uh, and I there was a lot of messages coming in about uh, uh, what's happening in Bali. Or do we have to close as a restaurant? And what's the correct practice for us in Finland? Do we now completely self isolate? Do we not even go out to shops? Things like this. And I realized that. I'm getting stressed now, and um, it's not a good idea for me to read anymore. I'm going to now switch off. So I ignored those messages, and on Sunday I still felt like, mm, not ready. I, like, if I had read them on Saturday or Sunday, it would have been bad for my health. But, you know, I think that's the thing. It's like I, I, I went through a day where I watched the news the whole day, and I felt terrible. But I looked outside, and it was nighttime, and it was, and there were fireflies, and and they're going around, and I'm like, the world is still beautiful. The world is still actually really doing quite well at the moment because of this. And I think it's just allowing us to take time and stop and go, okay, things might be bad in our sphere because there's change, because there's difference, because things are shaking around. But if we stop and actually look, things are still good. It's just. Just relax. It's the kindness from people, and just stop and understand we're out of control, and it's okay. Norte, 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 norte. Sambil. No, no, did I get it right? No. <laughs> For Alessandro, his spark of light is music. Connecting with local Balinese makes him happy. Yeah, and I mean that's the thing. It's like we're talking about like, oh, it's it's worse in it's worse here than it is in Australia, but it's like. Actually, you know, day to day. Well, let's take day to day out. But in terms of panic buying, in terms of all of that sort of stuff, we haven't seen that here, and and that actually means that we have a better way of living through this, and and actually it, it just shows me a better sense of community. And uh, a lot of people here feel very, very like almost allergic to. Like you can, you can feel the panic. Like just the feeling of going back to Australia right now just feels, ugh, you know. Like, and I think I think there is a genuine worry that Bali is not taking this serious enough. Like that's what I'm hearing. There is a genuine worry about that. However, I just think I don't know which way is better. Like, actually, you know, um, sitting and dealing with the problem and being in a community and helping each other out when there is a problem, or panicking and looking at everyone else as an, as an enemy. Yeah, I can see everyone's noticing me. Everyone's like, like they, I stop in the supermarket and they're yeah. like, yeah, yeah. oh, hey, are you a singer? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's me. Since when I'm already in self-quarantine, for example, um, because we, we have this, this need of, I, th I need to know more and more, but um, getting those informations will trigger the thoughts around fear and anxiety, but it doesn't really affect how we live our life. I mean, not, not to the better. It's not like, oh, cool, now I know what I need to do. We already know. People know what they should do and uh, what steps they should take to protect themselves and protect the other people. Well, Captain Tom Moore has now raised more than $42 million for health workers in the UK and his mission is... If no coronavirus is contagious, so is compassion. The choice is yours. What is it going to be? And if we believe that there is some kind of karma or that we somehow choose our life path and that we choose a mission on this planet, 
I think we should honor these people whose souls have passed on because they have made a sacrifice for other people to wake up. They're giving us a chance to stay alive and not just to stay alive but to thrive and really make something better out of our life, something more meaningful, to find meaningful purpose to make this planet a cleaner, healthier, safer place to live. The other thing is that, look, I'm 42 years old, right? Um, I've been around 42 years on this earth. I've seen many different walks in life of life and I've lived many different lifestyles from, you know, the poorest of the poor being homeless to you know, um, being on private jets and doing all that stuff. And, and the bottom line is that through all these 42 years of crazy life that I've lived, I've always been taken care of, you know? I always have. Even when I was trying to absolutely destroy my life, I still was taken care of. Like I said, I always had a roof available to me. I always had food available to me. I, all my needs were always met. Love. Kindness, humanity, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Have courage and be kind. The world needs people with kind heart, fierce mind, brave spirit. Beauty is everywhere. Have faith. And that was why I was writing down those questions. And it's what I have everybody ask me who calls me. It's like, okay, cool. Look at your feet. How is your health right now? You know? Like, what is going on with you right in this moment? Do you have a roof over your head right now? Do you have access to food and water right now? Do you have people that love and support you right now? Because everything outside of right now, literally what's in front of you, is fantasy. You know? Yeah, exactly. So, it's all, it's selfishness in the end. Yeah, you know really I mean? selfish. Yeah. The only way to battle selfishness is through selflessness. And so that's why I'm talking about like helping other people is basically the contrary action to that selfish behavior. So the more that you could practice helping others, thinking about what's in front of you right now, and it brings you back to that moment. Every day, every day I have a meeting for talk about this situation. And every day I, try make up positive with my staff. I talk every day, I be with you. Whatever problem you have in your family, I be here for she help got, you. She will make everything. I make the receipts and I, and I try and uh, help it, but she is really make the make Take okay. action, Chico. no matter how small. For Junior, his staff welfare comes first. Try try keep my team look like a family. For me, example is everything, understand? Because it's talk, 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 but only talk, you know, birds talk in the world. And, and I need give an example. Cancellation panic make me nervous I'm not usually one for the worry But if I don't, is there something wrong with me? If we are like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm freaking out, but let me see who I can help. We're all in this together. We're all, there are different support networks. Everybody just has to take care of each other. And that's, that's a positive thing that you notice in, in all countries. And when we help someone, um, we also get a, a good feeling out of it. So this might be a little small thing that people can do. Please don't hang so anxious. All this rapid by your panic make me nervous. What's the use shut and go to the virus? If all we're gonna do is let fear and hate it instead. Humans go to war and they're anxious. All the wars and the lies become the nervous. If my life boiled down to just one thing, it'd be helping people see the beauty in kind. Stop when the virus comes. We need it more now than ever before. So stop the panic, lend a hand, even though you've shut your door. Share, give, live.
That's what humans are for. And that just means that everybody here is now like like antagonizing every single other person. And and I get it, and I get this idea of flattening the curve and everything like that. It's just the thing is we are all gonna be hit by this. Um and we don't know we don't know the impact on each place yet. And I just don't think it's worth losing humanity to save humanity. This is kind of like a pause button for for the environment as well. People are forced to talk to each other actually, even from phone, from sky, right? I'm yeah. actually talking more to my friends that live in um, overseas because I am curious how they're going because yes. it's very different so it's good that we, we touch base more <laughs> it's crazy how it takes something so big just for us to just you know go back to base So uh, it's really good to have a dog because you, uh, of course, you're in quarantine now. Uh, most of the people, so they, it's really nice to have someone around and to play with and just concentrate on something that is constantly happy and loves you uh, instead of worrying about the virus, of course. Hi, uh, there's a cat there. I want to help the cat. Thank you. Don't be part of the problem. Be part of the solution. Look around you. You can be someone's hero. Lots of fleas in the lake. Hi, baby. We're gonna get you sick. There's something different today. I'm on the bright side. And things are going my way. Okay, I'm coming, guys. Looks like I got out of bed. On the right side. There's a silver lining. Outshining. The feeling when you foster the dog or rescue the dog, I mean, that's why I'm, I do it as well. Um, it's, a, it's a great feeling because, you, um, because you're helping a dog um, to a forever home, and that's a really nice feeling. The coronavirus is only part of the problem. The other part is within ourselves. We all have the power to make a difference. Take a moment in this long yuppie. We'll come out better and stronger on the other side. Oh, wow.